started the last game against the Red Bulls. What was your impression of, uh, of that team and the way they like to play and how you need to approach it? Well, I think um, judging from the last game against them, uh, it was a different type of game. You know, um, as far as I, I, I can say and as far as I've seen in the league and I've played, I think they play the most different style of game. And this is, I think this is how they play. This is how, what they work. And this is how they train. So I think it's a different type of game. And we are against them in the first game at home. We know how we were able to adjust and adjust again from the trainings, coming to the game. Still, we are trying to adjust and then to play them because it doesn't matter how they play. I believe that we also if we play anyhow we can play to be able to to get off to get off with the points or to win the game. So, but I think for the teams I've seen in the league, they they play a different type of game more than any other team. And then we always have to find a way to to match the intensity, to to match the energy and whatever they bring on to be able to to match with them. How tough is it to match that intensity, but also you know, be smart about how you're running for tackles? Or just especially a lot of guys, I think yourself, are on um, yellow card cautions. Um, I know you guys don't look ahead, but with the crew coming out, that's another big game. And really, the, the end of the season is always a big uh, push for the playoffs. So um, how do you manage that intensity while, while Keeping smart about it, I guess. Uh, well, I think we have learned also from the first game, everyone in the group, because we know that we need to be stay calm, be in our head every time. It doesn't matter how we're trying to match the intensity or match the energy or the aggressivity or whatever. We still need to be calm. And I guess that was what we didn't do very well in the last game. And it cost us um, some, some guys that got a punishment that had to miss games, which wasn't good for us. So I think coming into this next game, I can be 100% sure that whatever that I, this is what's going to happen. But I'm sure that we have learned and then we, we are going to try to approach the game in a little bit different way. And that is how we have been training for a while now, to be able to match intensity and still be calm, be smart and still play our own game and our own style of play. Obi, in, in Turkey, where you've come from, and in other top leagues around the world, obviously first place team is the champion, and maybe the top two, three, four teams get rewarded with being uh, qualifying for European competition. Uh, right now, you guys are tied for seventh in the league and competing for the playoff system here. What is, what is that like for you to be uh, at this place in the table, but to have something so meaningful to, uh, to compete for? Uh, what well, I can say is something exciting because we still have something to, to fight for. Even normally in some, in some championship in, the, in Europe or whatever, where once it comes down to 10 games, 9 games, some teams are not so much, um, maybe, can I say, concentrated. They are not so much serious because they felt like, oh, OK, we are probably not going to relegate and we are not going to win the league. So we just try to keep our, our sport. But here, even this is nine, nine games to go, or, but still we still have a lot of things to fight for. We still have opportunity to, to, to make it even to the top four. So it's something that keeps us going, you know, till the end of the last game, I believe. Uh, it's going to be like that until the last game of the season. So no game is like um, so easy. Every game is finals. Even since I came up till now, every game is finals. And till now, coming to the end of the season, it's still the same energy, the same intensity, the same close gaps and points. So you still have to play every week, knowing that if you lose, you are going down. If you win, you have chance to go up. So. It's something that I, I feel like for me is good to be able to keep fighting to the end. When you came here, I mean, it was still relatively early in the season, uh, but this was a, a club that had never 
even come close to fighting for a playoff spot. What what has it meant for you to be a part of kind of that transition for the club and um, having an impact on on a team that is now pushing for the playoffs? Well, honestly, for me, it's normal because I <laughs> I can say I I. I only had one experience, bad experience, one time in my career where I was where I was fighting for relegation. So I'm always fighting for something like for a Europa League qualification, Champions League or African Cup. So it's always like this. So for me, I think this is this is okay for me, and I believe that with this, we have chance to even stop fighting for just being in the playoff, but fighting for the actual title. So I, I, this is what I, I feel like. Uh, there wasn't, there is nothing, something like, oh, okay, it's not such a big deal for me because I know what we can do, and this is why I came because I believe that we can do it, and then I've seen that it's working. So I'm just trying to say that we can try to see to the end of it. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm just gonna ask. Did someone last, have last to? Time. I'm just gonna. Did someone have to explain the playoffs here, like the importance of it in America? It's so different from the rest of the world, where you know what you do in the regular season is really what matters most. Whereas here, everyone thinks about the playoffs and what happens there. Oh uh, well, nobody. I didn't get a full details of it, but I know for sure that playoffs that I know is always like it doesn't matter if you finish seventh in the league, you can go ahead and win the the, the championship. You know, so this is as far as I know. Uh, I don't know how the games are or how the games are being played, but I'm still sure that if you win, you are going to progress, and if you lose, you are going out. That is why that is playoffs. So if there is any other things that has to do with it or any rules, I don't know. But this is as far as I can say that I know. Thank you, Abby. Cool. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. You did a good job, man. You crushed it. <laughs> that was just one minute. Yeah, one minute.